Hello, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Elephants have been revered in Indian culture for centuries. Throughout the subcontinent, these magnificent creatures symbolize strength, wisdom, and royal power. Elephants are also an important part of Hinduism, the religion practiced by roughly 79% of Indians. During the great festival of Thrissur Puram, elephants are the star attraction. Since 1798, Thrice or Purim celebrations have featured grand processions by colorfully decorated pachyderms. Yet, in the seventh largest country in the world, Getting a two to five ton animal from place to place is no easy task. The solution is extremely practical. They use trucks. Taller trucks have special elephant steps built into the rear. As one might expect, getting an elephant to stand in a moving vehicle is not that easy either. That's why most festival elephants are trained from a young age to get accustomed to boarding and deboarding trucks. Typically, this will include gradual exposure to the truck, combined with various positive reinforcement techniques. By far, the most important part of the process is the mahouts skilled handlers who guide and calm the elephants. These men have very strong bonds with their animals, often developed from the moment they are born. The bed of the truck is modified to help keep the animals safe. Poles are placed around the elephant and they are carefully tied in place. They are also provided with vegetation to eat during their long journey. Upon arrival at the temple, the elephant will be carefully coaxed out of the truck. This involves removing the partitions and helping the animal back down the steps.
It's important to note that the chains placed on the elephants are only temporary. They keep them from running off or causing a stampede if they are scared or accidentally injured. In daily life, most elephants are well treated and well cared for. In the days leading up to the festival, which is held in the city of Thrysar, the elephants are kept hydrated and well fed. They are also encouraged to explore the temple grounds so that they can get used to their surroundings. At least one mahout will be assigned to each elephant to ensure they have everything they need. On the day of the festival, the elephants are adorned with elaborate decorations. These include golden headgear called netapatam, decorative bells and necklaces, and in some instances, large brightly colored parasols. In Hinduism, elephants are strongly associated with Lord Ganesha. He is considered the remover of obstacles and the god of beginnings. For this reason, the presence of beautifully decorated elephants is believed to invoke divine blessings. The netapadam represents the divine aura and magnificence of the deity, while the bells symbolize harmony. A fully decorated Thrysor Purim elephant procession is truly a sight to behold. On average, the festival here attracts between 500,000 and 1 million people. After the festival, the elephants will return home. Though these particular animals are largely bred for ceremonial purposes, elephants are beasts of burden in some parts of the country, not unlike cattle or oxen. As a largely agrarian society, animals are a huge part of daily life in India. From rice farming and cinnamon harvesting to everything in between. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.